Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be the seventh and final part of my Schmincke Horror Dam series and this time we're going to be swatching the darks. So first up is Neutral Tint and this is a three pigment mix of PR122, PB60 and PBK7. I've swatched this one out a few times before and I'm always surprised at just how red it is. I'm trying to remember if I've tried any other neutral tints. I'm pretty sure that none of them are quite this red. And next we have neutral grey. And this is made from PR255, PB60 and PO62. Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. I'd say I definitely prefer it to the neutral tint before it. Plus it doesn't contain any black pigment. And next we have Payne's Grey Bluish. And this is made from PBK6, PB156 and PB152. This is definitely my favorite Payne's Gray now. Um, the only other one I like almost as much as this is the Magello one. I mean, that, that one's also very blue. And next we have Perylene Green, and this is made from PBK31. Wow, this one's really beautiful. It's really given me that kind of dark forest vibe. And next we have Schmincke's Payne's Grey. This is made from PR101, PB29 and PBK7. So I've had this Payne's Grey for a while and I've never really liked it. You know, I always want it to be a bit bluer. This just looks like a neutral tint or something to me. So now onto the blacks, and first up is Lamp Black, and this is made from PBK6. I never really pay all that much attention to black watercolors, uh, unless they're granulating, uh, but I do quite like this one. And next we have Ivory Black, and this is PBK9. Yeah, this one's much warmer than the PBK6. Yeah, I don't think I like this one quite as much. And next we have Hematite Black, which is PG17. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting a PG17 to be black. I'm much more used to seeing it used as a chromium oxide green. I can actually see a bit of a green undertone, I think. Though, yeah, it's not really an interesting color to me. Uh, next we have anthracite, which is PBK7. Yeah, this one flows nicely on the wet paper. But, yeah, to be honest, doesn't do a whole lot for me. They're saying that, it's quite interesting to see the differences between all these blacks so far. And next we have Graphite Grey, which is PBK10. Yeah, another nice black option. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never tried a PBK10 pigment before. And now finally we have Mars Black, which is made from PBK11. So this one should granulate quite a bit if it's anything like the other PBK11s I've tried. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's some granulation. 
Have to wait till it's dry though. Okay, that's all of them painted out. And here they are when completely dry. Yeah, I definitely love the Payne's Grey Bluish and the Perylene Green. Uh, as for the blacks, I'm not that sure I'd use any of them. Uh, but it's interesting to see them swatched out side by side though. Uh, if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Lamp Black. Um, I do like the Mars Black as well, but granulates too much to be all that useful to me. What about you? Have you got any favourites here? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.